Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So, uh, day one with the new um, CSW, it's the Connex SW4048 and if you look on the side, it tells you what you need to know. I don't know if I'm too close. Yeah, I'm way too close. Okay, so on there it tells you, well, I don't have on my glasses, so I'll just count on you to read what it says. Um, this is a refurb unit, so we got it from Schneider because we install, we used to install a lot of the equipment, they gave it back to us and um, let me give you a quick update. The installation, usually on the Schneiders they give you this bracket that looks like an H and once you pre-drill, pre-determine where you're going to put it on, the inverter chassis fits into these holes here. Well, this one came from a uh, 2524 and you think the 2524 and the 4024 and the 4048 will have the same bracket? Well, guess what? They do not. The holes wouldn't align. So what did we do? We wound up mounting it directly onto the wall. As you can see back there, it's mounted directly into the wall. So that's the first thing. Secondly, we don't have these covers here. So we have it open. I'm sure if I look inside my warehouse somewhere, I'll find a cover that would fit that. As you can see, um, we have it connected via the Jambus. X-A-N-B-U-A-S. They say Jambus. I call, want to call it Xambus, but whatever, as long as you understand what I'm trying to say. So one of the things that you find out with the Zamb and each time you do a connection using Zambus is there always has to be a termination. So this little thing here terminates and there's also one inside the charge controller. If, there, if you, this allows you to add an additional device, an additional device, an additional device and the SCP will pick up all those devices. However, if you don't terminate and you try to communicate with the devices that are there you might see them, but you'll get errors when you try to do things like firmware updates and stuff like that. So right now, like the last time, my Victron is in float. Makes no sense. Um, I still have, let me see. I still have another 18 amp hours to go before the battery is full. Was 18.8, it not 18.7 amp hours. We're currently putting in Bear with me, what 57.05 according to this. We are putting in 250, 265 watts into the batteries, and that will take us quite a long time because the Victron has gone to sleep, and the CSW right now, wow, 1100 watts. That's some impressive numbers. Okay, my AC is on. That's why I, could, I didn't. I was wondering why, why the consumption was that high. So if we look here, let me bring this a little closer. If we look here, we can see that we are um, pulling, oh here's an MPPT, sorry, here's a S CSW, so our CSW are consuming 7, or well, 800, it varies between 800, 750 and 800 watts, and then our controller is currently producing 1145 and is in bulk. Okay, as you can see, so, and so far the harvest is 101 amp hours and we've done 5.6 kilowatt hours today, which is pretty impressive. So the sun has been out quite a bit for us, see 5.6 kilowatt hours, and we still have some time to go. So I got the feeling today, out of our 2 kilowatts in panels, we'll see 6, maybe 6.5 six kilowatt hours, which is an impressive number. So if I think about 2 kilowatts and I'm seeing 6, it means I've got about three hours of direct sunshine on my panels. Um, what else? Um, that's it. I don't really have anything more to report other than this. Um, oh, one thing I have to tell you. When my refrigerators or freezers kick in, the lights do not blink. With the grower, they did that. They would blink. You could see it, slight blink. When those items come on, this does not do that. So I guess one advantage, um, not only the fact that it has a transformer has, also, they've been doing it for a while. Grow is relatively new compared to, say, a um, Voltronic, the people who make the expert. 
So I think this is it for now. I can't think of anything else to add. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. 1146. 1146. I'm loving this. The next time I'll put the com box on. And what the com box will let me do, allow me to do is to use my laptop to monitor all this stuff. We're getting new internet tomorrow from a fixed wireless provider because the one we've had has been from a 4, 4G LTE provider and they really sucked. So we're going to get a fixed wireless so we can put all these things on it and have fun. Oh, my Victron is for sale. So I'll be selling this and I'll be selling this and I'll go um, all 100% to a Schneider Architecture. So if you're interested in purchasing my Victron, please let me know, especially if you're in Nigeria. I'll be happy to sell them to you. Once again, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you very much.